Hello guys, how are you doing? So finally we are here, ready to, to draw. Uh, I'll be on the bottom left, down here. How are you guys? Uh, I'm, I'm reading here the chat and we have people from everywhere. Hello guys, so, how are you doing? So um, yeah. Let me know where are you from. I can see Germany, Toronto, Denver, uh, San Diego, Montreal. London. Oh, you are locked down again. That's that's horrible. I'm from Argentina. Anybody from Argentina here? Uh, Oregon. Okay, a lot of people. Uh, oh, Berlin. How beautiful. All beautiful places. Victoria, Holland, New Jersey, USA, of course, Denmark. Okay, guys, this is amazing, Oklahoma, uh, amazing how many people are, are getting, are being here with us, I guess you are all ready to draw, uh, again, my name is Juan Perednik, I'm from Argentina, I'm going to be part of the Hollywood, oh, from Hollywood, wow, I'm going to be part of the 30 Faces, 30 Days uh, challenge, so you can you can be part of it too you can subscribe there is my uh, discount code which is 30 f 30 d juan uh, you're going to have a discount if you put that code down so go for it uh, there are so many amazing artists that are are going to be part of it and believe me it's going to be fun it's a great challenge and you're going to learn a lot just from uh, from drawing constantly uh, 30 days in a row. So uh, also you can con contact me and get in touch with me on Instagram where I'm most active, mostly every day, uh, showing tutorials and, and drawings and process and I'm, I'm pretty much all day there. So uh, Dylan, Sara, hello. Okay, Brona, India, whoa, amazing. Okay, guys, so are, are we ready? Here we have the reference. Um, I'm going to, to start working uh, very, very loose at the beginning. You probably have seen my style before. It's a misc, you know, of loose lines and expressive drawing with some more um, detailed work. So, okay, let's, let's begin. Um, what I try to do is always to... Uh, to understand what we're drawing and think about the what we are doing, right? I don't want to be on autopilot. Uh, and the first thing I see on this portrait um, is the, the expression, right? And part of the expression is the, the tilt of the face. So the face has a tilt that I'm going to draw right now with a straight line right here. So we have a this this tilt over here you're going to to see I'm pretty messy when when I draw um, and uh, okay Canada Florida and um, okay so I will start drawing I will look for for the biggest shapes first the central line and the biggest shapes okay so let's see what we have here again I'm very very um, very loose at the beginning, uh, trying to see the angles, and you're going to see me work with a lot of straight lines. Uh, Paula Montgomery, you're signed up. Okay, amazing. So we'll see you there then. Um, straight lines, remember to. I always encourage uh, people to work with straight lines, especially at the beginning of the work because straight lines you can work with angles and and that's very important you know uh, so as you can see i have the the center of the face now i'm trying to look for the the line of the eyebrows right here again i'm not doing just uh one line as you can see i'm very very uh loose you know i want to leave my time my my details for the end you know so I am, that's what I'm going to do, just leave that for the end. 
Uh, okay, so the eyebrows I'm starting to to place simply place the, the big shapes I see here and not worry about details, about texture, I'm going to worry about that later uh, well not worry because I'm enjoying so much this but taking care of it, you know uh, I'm setting the, the space for the eyes as you can see I, I could work all this as a as a big mess which I love doing, you know like to be relaxed and looking for shapes uh, slowly slowly uh, adding some some texture and some values uh, no no worries Montreal you're not late just a few minutes so don't worry about it I just started I, I was saying I, I just uh, I was putting just the first lines the I'm working with straight lines um, with the center of the face right here I want to set my nose now with these weird uh, and loose lines I don't want to be you know uh, I don't want to be a slave of the of being uh, tied uh, tight and, and tidy you know so I'm pretty I'm a pretty relaxed guy when it comes to drawing I, I just want to to enjoy you know the experience because for me it's all about the, the experience at the and the, I mean the drawing at the end is the result of an experience and for me that's the most important thing to have fun while doing it if not it has not much sense for me you know uh, I'm thinking that this is a three quarters profile right so we shouldn't have the same distance from one side to the other so I'm going to, you know, to, to shorten a little bit this way the face. I'm looking for triangles. I will have to, to work on that mouth because, as you imagine, it's a very important part of the face. She's with the tongue out, so uh, we will have to make sure that looks good. Uh, and by good, I mean... Uh, expressive and uh, we are happy with the result I don't mean to, to look just like the picture so you don't want to have that, that pressure uh, on your shoulders you know the pressure for me is to have fun if you're not having fun then that's a failure if you have fun that's a success the drawing will be better or worse it's not the only thing that matters here so you can see I'm still working with straight lines uh, <laughs> yeah, if, if it's not fun, what's the point? I mean, let's face it, I mean, we draw because it's fun, because we love it, because we want to disconnect from, from this crazy world we are having right now so, uh, so let's, again, let's take out that pressure we have and let's have fun um, again, guys, working with angles, straight lines and angles. I don't want to stress, you know, about the the likeness and the the realism, you know, and the detail at the beginning. That's for the end, you know. Uh, you cannot compete with the picture. That's something I tell. I tell. Uh, everyone who asks me, you know, you, you cannot, you're going to lose, so don't choose that fight it's not your fight picture always wins, so you have to to be able to be expressive, you know, you have to be able to not only to be expressive uh, to, to, to catch the expression on the, on the model, but you know, the line, it has to be expressive, so something else I wanna I want to say is when you you want to be I mean when I say you know work loose loosely I mean work loosely no I don't mean like pretend to be loose as you can see I'm working loosely and speed is one of those uh, things that can help you look I mean not look but work loosely as you can see my lines are not done in slow motion guys I'm like all over the place uh, playing and, and throwing lines and making decisions right now 
about the hair, you know, I'm thinking where where the hair is going, so where like I'm trying to to you know do the lines on the direction of the hair. I know there is a big black uh, shadow over here, so I can choose that shadow and I can use that shadow to work on some texture for the face. And this speed gives me not only expression but movement. As you can see, it looks almost, um, you know, it's like almost moving, right? I'm going to move a bit the camera so you can see the top of the bottom, sorry, of the drawing. So there we are. Um, so if you have questions, guys, you can always ask me, okay? Um, yeah, graphite is a great medium, that's for sure. Um, I am in Argentina, Rebecca, yes, I'm in Argentina. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure being with you. Uh, it's a big, big pleasure, it's a great community. Thank you, Sketchy, for, for letting me be part of this, I love it. Uh, the guys from Sketchy are great, uh, they are always great. This is, again, one of my favorite communities for drawing. We are all so passionate and we are all, uh, again, having fun and I see people enjoying this and, and that's for me the most uh, important thing. Um, so, slowly I'm, I'm trying to refine some of my shapes and if I see I have a problem with a shape, I'm going to, to change it. Still thinking of uh, uh, straight lines, slowly very slowly adding some value to the lines I think that are okay I can add some value to those remember guys I, I start with the big shapes I, stri I start with alignment I start with, uh, with uh, the vertical line, the tilt uh, I haven't worked on the eye yet because this is another advice if the drawing works without the eye, once you put uh, the eye there, it's going to be, you know, like much better. So if it works without it, with it, it's going to be great. So I'm trying to hold, you know, my anxiety and my uh, how I, I would love to go to the eye right now. You know, we are. We I'm sure you have already been there with the with the eye. Most of you must already have been there, but I'm saving it uh, for now, I'm saving it, I'm trying to I'm trying not to fall into details I'm trying to uh, I'm just trying to work on the angles, the expression and the big shapes for now um, so here we have a shadow under the the tongue, right here as you can see I have that shadow um, how do I get the proportions correct? Okay, there are a few few things I talk about uh, on my 30 faces, 30 days, but I can do a very short uh, explanation on it. Um, I'm going to, to give some advice here. Uh, squint your eyes, guys, and take special uh, attention for the big shapes. Don't worry about small shapes. Uh, small shapes solve small problems. You want to have uh, right the big shapes and then the small ones are going to be appearing with uh, very slowly, you know, and when they appear they will be okay because the big shapes are okay. So squint your eyes, forget about details, forget about it and start working on big shapes. That's how I get right the proportions. There are a few, you know, methods uh, like Loomis, you probably already heard about the three thirds on the face, which are over the eyebrow to the forehead, where the hair begins. That's one third. Then we want to make sure that we have this other third right here. It's the same distance, as you can see. And then another third that will go from the bottom of the nose to the chin. Right now, that's, that third third, it's being a bit uh, longer, and that's because she's opening her mouth, and uh, so it's a little bit longer down here. But that's a great uh, rule 
to make sure that you are you know on the right track with proportions so as you can see I'm uh, starting to hatch a little bit you know to make the, the texture and the the values uh, as you can see I haven't worked on the eye yet I, I can do this like to leave it there that the eye is going to be right here but I don't want to work on detail just yet I will get to that to that later which is our favorite part of course um, so working a little bit on value very very loose because I'm going to mix all this you know I'm going to make a a, big, a very big mess and much messier than what it is <laughs> right now so in a few moments I'm going to be there uh, yeah, yeah loose lines and straight lines, that's the key guys yeah, Canada, beautiful Mexico México, ¿cómo anda la gente de México? De México, I'm from Argentina. Así que yo hablo español también. El que habla español, me puede hablar en español. El que habla en inglés, if you speak Spanish, you can talk in Spanish. If not, we can speak in English. So I love having people from everywhere. Um, no, the, um, Jen, the, I'm going to ask. Uh, people on Sketchy, but it should work. I have people that have already subscribed on that. The, uh, the code is 30F30D and then Juan. 30F30D Juan. That's the code. Uh, okay. El español. Naomi, por supuesto que me sale súper bien. Yo estoy en Argentina, hablo español todos los días, todo el tiempo, con todo el mundo. Así que me sale muy bien el español. Hace 30 años hablo español. Slowly bringing some value and shading a bit. Georgia, beautiful. Ok, so how's... How are those drawings going, guys? Are you managing to, to work this fine? The, the big shapes, I'm telling you, the straight lines. Right now, hatching a little bit, so I'm going to make a good mess of all of it. As, I, as you can see, remember, I was saying I'm using this big black, you know, uh, shade to work on, uh, on movement and texture. That's, uh, you know, like an opportunity, you see? Uh, now let's give some here for this shadow I'm bringing some value for that shadow down here and I'm going to leave that shadow open actually you know I'm not going to close down there these are all ideas I'm uh, having right now while, while I speak with you and while I see the drawing and how it's getting together I'm going to shade a little bit of the tongue right now so that it's not, you know, white, completely white. We don't want to have almost nothing white on the drawing uh, so that then we can make the highlights with the with the, the eraser, you know? So you can see how I slowly am shading the whole thing, uh, very slowly trying to to make sure that the, the places where I'm making the shadows are okay and that I'm making good choices where to place the shadows and slowly making the value so this is a, just a first layer you can think of it in layers you see like first layer and something again something important that I haven't said actually is to think where the light comes from you know and try to uh, keep a keep a peruso this is um, just a white and uh, papel liso, you know. Oh, my shirt! Thank you, guys. This is uh, John Frusciante from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm a big fan of him, so thank you. Um, Atlanta. Yeah, 
using the, the picture black and white, this helps us to, to think only about uh, values, you know, when you are working with a, with a pencil and you're working only on grayscale, so you don't want to have, you know, a lot of colors to, uh, to worry about because we're not using colors, so let's leave colors for, for oils and for other moments when we are really using it. Right now, we just worrying. We are just worrying about light and shadow. So uh, we we don't uh, need all the color. Uh, squint squinting. It's a great advice. Yes, uh, I do it all the time. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm you know squinting constantly. And another thing that people don't say. Um, don't try to remember the reference, but look at it, you know, I, I throw some lines here and I go back to the reference. And I'm constantly looking at my reference, you know. You want to be thinking, you don't want to be, again, um, trying to remember where this line were or how this was. Like, look at your reference, you have it there. Don't be lazy, look at your reference. Uh, okay, now I have a big mess here, I think I'm going to do... Um, with my with this uh, you know this cardboard stick I always forget the name uh, such a shame but I'm going to show it to you and you probably have one one of these uh, the paper uh, the okay let's talk a little bit about the materials okay guys this is a, a mechanical pencil a very big mechanical pencil and uh, it's a 4B, the hardness. So if this is a 4B and I'm working this light, you should realize that I'm working very, very softly and gently on, on this paper, which is a uh, no grain paper. I mean, it's uh, completely, you know, with no texture. Um, it's a 106, uh, sorry, uh, 160, um, the, 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 you know, the, I don't know how to say it in English, el gramaje, it's 160 and uh, it's completely plain and, and soft and I'm working very softly with the 4B and a big, big pencil. Why is that? So that I cannot get into details even though I would love to, you know, it's a big, big pencil so I don't fall in the trap of working too much with the details yet. I'm going to do that later with a smaller pencil that you're going to, to be looking at in a few minutes. Um, so squint your eyes, big shapes, soft pencil, be gently and soft with your hand for the moment. Uh, make decisions about composition, like I'm opening right here, the drawing, this line is going to be open, I don't want to close the hair right there, uh, the shadow under the tongue, it's going to be opened, um, what else, here I'm using this texture to, to move, uh, to use like movement, um, work on big shapes, forget all the details just yet, remember we want to uh, work we don't want to have white spaces in the drawing because we're going to have those once we work with our eraser. So forget about the white, that's going to look more three-dimensional too when we shade the whole thing. Um, I want to remember you guys because there are a lot of people coming again, uh, getting, getting uh, reaching here and, and being part of this live with sketchy there are a lot of new people i can see in new countries and places you're in so i'm going to be part of 30 faces in 30 days you you should be part of it because it's a great idea and it's a, an amazing challenge and you will learn a lot of drawing faces for 30 days in a row you're going to learn a lot uh, you can use my, my discount code to join uh, i'm giving a, you know a lot of tips right there, I'm going to be drawing with you there, um, so join me, um, and also you can find me on YouTube, at Juan Perednik, and I'm constantly uh, there 
I'm very active there, so you can join me there, and let's we, we can talk, and you will see my process, my my drawings, uh, my own ideas. You will see a lot of stuff. So let's go with this little body here, and let's start to make a mess. Um, Okay, let's go. As you can see, I'm very loose working with this one too. Uh, I don't want to be tied, you know, I just, I love the texture of the pencil. So since we are all drawing with pencil, I guess, uh, I try not to lose the texture because it's one of the unique things of, of pencil, you know, that amazing texture so you don't wanna erase it or I'm just mixing it a little bit you see I'm going from one side to the other uh, I'm working again I'm working fast I don't care too much about the the crazy shapes that I'm making because I'm going to be working with the eraser to 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 make this more uh, three-dimensional so as you can see, it's starting to look. I don't know what happens happened there, but I like it. Um, as you can see, I'm working loosely, and it's starting to look more grayish and more uh, shaded. You know, I'm working now on the shadows, which are the nose shadow. I'm pressing a little harder down here. Uh, I will press a little harder under the, the tongue, which is another important thing of this drawing, you know, right there, if you have questions, please let me know, I'm reading here in the chat, uh, I mean, problems with lightness, well, my best ad advice for, for lightness is Take care of the, take care of the, the angles. You know, try to keep to be tight when it comes to angles. The tilt of the, of the face, the tilt of the eyebrows, of the eyes. Try to think of straight lines. Try to. That's a great, great advice. Think of straight lines. Don't think of curves, because they are a little bit, you know, uh, too loose, uh, so I try to think of straight lines as much as I can, and for as long as I can. Of course, there is a moment that I start working with more uh, curve and, and round lines, but I try to think of straight lines, structure, geometry, these are all things I, I say constantly on, on my lessons, on Sketchy, and on my Instagram page. So can you see how it starts to to be to, to blend all together and let me see if I can take this crazy thing that happened. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Yeah. That was killing me, sorry guys. Okay, so we're starting to to see some movement, some value, some lightness very slowly. Uh, blending stamp for sure, yes. Okay, guys, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the eraser and I'm going to. Well, you know what? Actually, I think. Yeah, I will grab the eraser. So this is my best friend, yes, the eraser, so much power uh, on my hand. So I would start to, you know, like, like if I was sculpting, I'm trying to bring a little value, uh, sorry, a little uh, volume, not value, well value too, you know, some highlights right here. And you will see how slowly it starts to build 
and to come, you know, starts to look more rounded and and, and more three dimensional. And start to it starts to to pop, you know, out of the of the paper. So this is a very important step trying to look for the shadows and think of value. Don't think, okay, here is a great advice. Uh, here is a great advice. So don't think of the nose as a nose. Think of the nose like three different volumes. And this goes not only for the nose, but for every place in the, in the face. And I'm actually for body, uh, sorry, figures too, but we're talking about the face here. Uh, don't think of the eye as an eye, but think of it as shapes, you know, like shadows, lights. Let's talk in a, in a, with more of a drawing and art vocabulary. You know? Let's not talk about the eye and let's talk about this shape, more abstract vocabulary, you know, like I think that's uh, a big change, you know, when you start thinking of shapes and trying to understand where the light comes from and try to understand uh, where the, the volume should be, how it should be. So can you see guys how it's starting to come up uh, together? And here it's another, I'm throwing tips here and there, actually not here and there, but constantly. Um, for instance, can you see how I'm getting a lot of detail here? Okay, I, I now I have decided this is going to be the place where I will uh, spend more time and more details. So there's where I want to have more lights, more contrasts, more details, smaller shapes. So that's something I have just decided. You can choose uh, whatever you want. You can choose that to be the mouth, the 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 tongue, the whatever you want. But I just spot that one, and I'm choosing that one. So feel free to do something different. I'm just this is just one version of this uh, of this portrait, right? There should be as many versions as guys drawing, and that's what I hope to be to see later. Oh, how do I deal with detailed obsession? <laughs> That's a great one because who doesn't have that obsession, you know? We all have, we've all been there. And you know what? You know what I've realized? That the most I delay, I mean, the, the later I get on details, the better they come. So it's not that I don't care about details, I care about them. And I know that working very slowly on them is it's the key for great details. Think of a building. Uh, you, you, it, the building has to have the foundation, all the structure, all that stuff must be okay so that the details at the end of the building look great. If you put the details at the beginning, that's not going to save the building. The building is not going to look good because of the details at the beginning. So I do care about details but I care so much about details that I know they have to come later on. They can't be, you can't be looking for details, or at least you shouldn't be looking for details at the beginning. That's too much pressure. And that's something I said at the beginning too. You don't have, you don't want to have too much pressure at the beginning of the drawing. Okay? You just want to have fun at the beginning. At the end too, you know. But, okay, you understand what I'm saying. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, okay. Okay, guys, so you can see how this is getting somewhere. I don't know yet where. This is smaller eraser, a thinner one. I, I saw someone was asking, so this is a smaller one that I'm going to probably use later for some uh, more details. 
Right now, what I will do is to grab again my pencil and start to look for darker and lower values. Because now I've worked on the, on the whole thing and I want to make sure some of these shapes, I want to refine and change some things that I'm seeing here. So as you can see, I'm going forward and backward. I'm going, you know, back. I'm not afraid of making mistakes. If I need to go back, I will go back and erase and change shapes. So that's part of the, the idea to be making adjustments, adjustments constantly, you know. And that's how you make a great drawing, not by doing it on the first attempt, but to be able to see the mistakes and to change them. Oh. As I was saying, I'm working a bit darker now, where I want uh, people to look more at the, I mean, I want to, you know, to call the, the attention on some places. Those places have to have more contrast and should look uh, a bit darker. At least that's how I do it. I still have the chance to work with a darker pencil though. I'm working with a 4B and I have an 8B waiting for me. This lid is a 4B, I don't know the size, it's like a number 4 or I don't know, it's big, you know. I don't know the size, it's a 4B and I'm just using 4B for the moment. Slowly the volume is starting to, to appear. I'm thinking of shapes, volumes, I'm not thinking of eyes, I'm thinking again, abstract shapes, that's the key guys, big shapes, then you take care of the smallers, of the smaller shapes, Some shadow here on the nose. For me, yes. Uh, this is actually an, an A4 paper or something like that. You can see my hand. The drawing has the size of my hand. Okay, that's what I recommend for a portrait. In pencil, of course. If we are using charcoal, it's a whole other thing. If you're using oils, another, another thing. So uh, that's what I recommend for drawing with, with pencil. Smaller than that, you have to be uh, more precise because you have less, you know, uh, room for mistakes. Uh, 
So I recommend to do the portrait on the size of your hand. That's what it works for me. If you have a huge hand, it won't work. I mean, doing a huge drawing won't work. And a very small drawing, uh, in my opinion, it won't work either. Because you have to be very, very precise. It's not that you can't or you shouldn't, but you can try. You can try and tell me what you think. Uh, and if, if it uh, worked for you, I might give it a try. Uh, again, guys, be part of this. I'm going to be part of the 30 phases in 30 days. Please join. You have my discount code uh, down there, and it's going to be crazy good. I can assure you that. You can contact me via Instagram too at Juan Perednik. That's my name and last name. Uh, I'm mostly active every day right there. Uh, I'm going to make again this uh, this big mess with the blending stamp. I'm going to blend a little bit again. Uh, I'm seeing a volume here that I'm missing, which is the cheek. So I'm starting to work a little bit on that cheek, like that, very slowly and very very softly, you know, uh, very gently. I don't want to press too much on the paper. Uh, it's looking, I'm pretty happy with the result right now. It has a lot of texture, movement, uh, expression, which, which is what I want. Expression of the girl and of the drawing. You see, I, I see the drawing has uh, beautiful lines and, and textures, uh, as I'm doing right now. Uh, different values, lights, shadows. Uh, so. I didn't give too much uh, detail and, uh, and importance to the to the tongue, and that's a, a decision I made. I mean, you can think it's the most important thing, so you can give more detail to that part if you want. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I'm working more on this area of that eye. Uh, I love eyes. That's an obsession we all artists have, or at least most artists eyes, you know, the window to the soul and all that stuff, which for me that's true actually, because we communicate looking at each other's eyes and more on these days that we have the mask for the for the COVID, you know, so I'm blending actually with my finger, be sure to have clean finger. Uh, so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab um, a smaller pencil. This is a 05. I think it's 2B. Uh, yeah, the black and white reference works great with draw for drawing with pencil. Uh, I can assure you that, guys. Uh, it works great because you just worry about value, light and shadow, and you don't worry about um, about colors, you know, and temperature, which is a whole another thing, you know. So with this smaller pencil, I'm, I'm uh, taking care of smaller things, of course. Smaller lines, thinner lines. I'm not going to be drawing a lot. I mean, working a lot with this. I'm just you know, working where I feel I couldn't work with the big one. Okay. Squint your eyes, guys. Come on, squint your eyes. Don't worry about details. Use speed to make texture and looseness. Okay, so now I'm going to grab uh, again um, a darker pencil. Okay? Let's see. Mm. 
wait, I have to make some of my details now, guys. I've been waiting for this. This pencil helps you with texture too, you know? You can do very thin lines that won't change the overall uh, value system you're working with, but will help you uh, build some texture. That's always, for me, it's a cool thing, texture, you know? And especially if you're speaking about uh, pencil, we want to work with uh, beautiful uh, lines of texture and pencil. We don't want to hide every mark the pencil does, you know? You, you have to choose what to show or what not to. I would choose to show texture. Okay, I'm going to blend a little bit with my with another finger, a clean one. Now I blend a little bit, and now I'm going to grab uh, one more time this, the blending stick, stamp. Sorry. Try to work on the sh the darker shapes to make sure it it looks you know dark and complete Guys, so do you remember how the, the drawing looked at the beginning? Okay, I, I think we are getting somewhere right, somewhere uh, right now, right? I think we are finally getting somewhere. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a darker pencil and I'm going to work uh, on some... We have over a hundred light viewers, amazing, everyone, everyone. I want every of these hundred uh, guys looking, I want to join the 30 faces 30 days. You can use my, my discount code. And you can also uh, go give me a follow on Instagram, where I'm mostly active and, and drawing and motivating everyone to draw every day. So here I am on the camera. Thank you, guys. How are you? Small, small down there. Uh, okay, guys, now I'm grabbing a smaller... I mean, this is not a smaller pencil. I have it smaller because I use it a lot. This is an 8B, Faber Castell 8B. So it's the, the darker I'm going to be working on. So this is so that uh, so that I can work on the darker, darkest darks. Sorry. So I want to begin using this pencil where I'm where I'm sure I'm, I need to be dark, you know. So I won't be using this pencil on the probably I won't use it on the left side of her because she has more light there. So I start down here on the right side where I know I want this value to be dark. So I try, uh, and I'm trying out actually how this pencil works, you know, while I'm doing it with you, you know. Uh, so I don't go very tough and very with a lot of pressure, but I go very gently and very slowly building up the, the value, you know. Squint your eyes, remember to, to squint constantly. Remember I chose this part to be my focus of attention. So that's where I'm going to be working darker, darkest, sorry. Um, so slowly it comes the part when yeah, you have to start worrying a bit more about the details, okay? But see how it's the end of the drawing. I mean, it's not that at the beginning I was worrying about it, but now yeah, you can start making decisions about 
some details you wanna you wanna have there and which ones you you wanna leave out because that's another th secret guys if you want your details to look good you will have to leave some details out of the equation you know you can't work on everything all detailed and all rendered uh, you have to leave some things out so make that decision think what details you're going to be leaving out and which ones you wanna take care of okay it won't be everything because the secret is in contrast and by contrast I mean you have to have some parts that are loose and some parts that are more defined if you balance right that contrast you're going to to have an, a very cool effect uh, where the more detail looks even more detailed than what it is and that's because the other part is uh, loose so it's a win-win guys as you can see I'm working slowly a, bit, a little bit more on the eye a more darker values where you wanna you want people to to have more attention it's important to make decisions as you go it's important to work on different textures on the same drawing so that people don't uh, don't get bored watching your drawings so that they can see you know different textures, shapes, values, decisions. It's important that people can uh, see that the artist is making a conscious decision, for instance, to leave this open, this shadow open, as I mentioned before, as you can see I left this shadow open down here. You see? Down there it's open. Uh, the face, it's almost open here, the hair, it's open on this uh, side too uh, I'm using a little bit more contrast here, close to the, the other eye, right there so these are all decisions I'm making uh, while I draw so I don't want you guys to be drawing on autopilot again think of what you're doing, try to understand where the light comes from, so where it should be a bit more darker, where it shouldn't. Uh, think of what you're doing, don't think of it as, okay, the eye is like this, so it should be, no, no, no. Think of it like shapes. Okay, this shape, this volume has to be darker, rounder. Uh, think of it as volumes. Okay, so, as you can see, definitely the more detailed place is this as I wanted. And that's because it's where I'm using more contrast. And I still, I could still uh, press even harder to build more contrast. So that means more detail, that means more attention, that means more rendered okay thank you Jay it's looking good uh, yeah it's it's a pleasure okay guys so now I'm going to to make some more details with the more highlights with my with my uh, with my eraser and we are close to finish guys these are the last details these are the ones that are going to make the difference actually so choose very wisely where you want those details to be okay of the nose of course <laughs> of course it 
So you can see how I'm working the detail right there. That's the, for me, the, the best, uh, well, not the best, the, the part, the place, the, of the drawing I chose to, to use my, my details. Um, I'm blending, still blending. Now I'm going to grab the smaller uh, eraser and work on thinner textures or highlights on that eye. Uh, hold on, this is looking okay. Again, with this smaller one, trying to work on something uh, on small shapes on that eye, like that. Nose on here. Big pleasure, guys, being here with you. I hope you all enjoy. I hope you are drawing at your uh, at your work, whatever you are, your home, your girlfriend, boyfriend's place, your family, home or house or whatever you are. You already told me a lot of places you were in. Amazing people from all over the world on this live drawing. I'm new here on Sketchy, so thank you, Sketchy, for the opportunity. It's a big pleasure working with you guys. Uh, this is uh, such a great community. Uh, remember to uh, be part of the challenge 30 faces in 30 days. It's going to be... Uh, you have to be actually quite brave to be part of it because it's a huge challenge and I'm sure you guys, for what I've read, you're ready for it. So I would uh, encourage you and, and I would say be part of it because you're going to have fun and you're going to learn a lot and remember that if you don't have fun drawing uh, it has no sense so make sure to have fun doing it that's the only thing that matters at the end okay uh, 30 faces in 30 days you can follow me on instagram at juan perednik and um, let's keep drawing guys let's let's go so thank you so much guys it's been great uh, now I'm saying hi here on the camera, yeah, there I am. Uh, it's been great being here with you, asking, uh, answering your questions. You've been great. The questions have been great. You are all over the place. You are amazing. Um, again, I can't thank enough. Hope to see you soon. Uh, Irene, la clase te ha encantado. Bueno, me alegro mucho. Todos los que hablan en español, muchas gracias. Thank you so much, big pleasure, and let's keep in touch, guys. That was it. Uh, we'll see you soon. I want to see your drawings, guys. Okay? Okay, guys, thank you so much, and hope you have enjoyed. Bye-bye.